emptied out my soul You've heard it all before Honest but I know uh -huh. Left these years ago I was young and I'm old Still care for the void uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow Never see the end of the night for sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? Today we took a drive and I guess it was a date because it was just Phil and I, but we went to the base of Schweitzer Ski Mountain, which was about 4,000 feet above where we live. The garage right there is pretty I know, the insane. garage is covered in snow. Back at 2,000 feet, there's no snow, but the kids do enjoy going to the BMX track. It is Good Friday, and that means it's time to make pie because Easter's coming and we make pie. So we are making two pies. I am making a cherry pie, and oh, I'm not making the other pie. Stephanie makes a chocolate pie. Chocolate Ooh, silk yay. pie. I love yeah. her chocolate pie. All right, we're going for a rough cornmeal texture, and I think we about got that. So I have a stick of butter and three tablespoons of. No, two tablespoons of shortening, but I didn't have shortening, so it's actually coconut oil. Or, co yeah, coconut oil. So now we're going to add one farm fresh egg 
from a friend. Don't have to anymore. Friend who happens to also go be a YouTuber. And I'm going to start with uh, two tablespoons of ice water. Add egg and three tablespoons of ice water and pulse two to three times. So this recipe actually says to use a food processor. All right, we need half a cup of ground almonds. this a little bit we had to add a little bit more water I think we are to the point that it's mostly sticking together so we will work it on to some parchment paper split it into two uh, equal parts so we have our bottom crust and our top crust and then we will chill it for I don't know probably till tomorrow honestly because I'm not going to be able to finish this right now it would, I would say a minimum of 20 minutes, but um, overnight is fine. I've actually frozen the dough before, so we will. Yeah, it looks kind of funky. It's like, as you can see the almonds in there and the butter. And... When I am forming the crust before I chill it, I make it into a nice flat disc makes it a little bit easier to roll out when the time comes. Make sure it's all incorporated together and then I will wrap it up and chill it. This is rough. I found tapioca. Guys, I still can't find my almond extract. And the camera's not working. Sorry. Okay, we're just gonna hold it. I can't find my almond extract. So I guess I'm going to the store before I make the pie. But that's what happens when you're A, not organized, and B, haven't made a pie in like a year, so we will work on the pie tomorrow. Good morning, it's Saturday, it's time to make pie, but it's also time to make breakfast, and I haven't had coffee, so just bear with me. I realized I haven't done this in a while, I don't remember, I have to find the recipe. Notice this is not cherry pie filling. These are tart cherries packed in water. That's why I've added sugar and they don't have a syrupy consistency to them. The sun still shines, but when will it break through? Jesus, I need you.
is the filling and I'm gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes while I prepare the crust and start making breakfast. I forgot to put this part in. So just cutting up the butter into little bits. I'm throwing that in there. but it's not rollable yet so we'll keep trying every little bit and meanwhile I'm gonna make breakfast I have family coming over they're gonna be here sooner than I thought kids won't get out of bed so it's a regular Saturday because it bakes for 45 minutes and I have stuff to do so I don't want to hang out around wait for this so hopefully I won't spill and hopefully I grab the right size pie plate so it doesn't have a brilliant red color to it and I don't add food coloring because that's gross so it is what it is. All right, so I maybe got the bottom pie crust a little bit on the wonky side, but I'm just gonna try to roll the top crust over the bottom. Try to seal the juices in. Then we'll go bend the top, brush it with milk, sprinkle it with sugar, pop it in the oven. So that's about all there is to it.
Every family has their own tradition, their own holiday menu that doesn't waver or change over the years. Cherry pie is that for my family. We can never just have one pie. Stephanie has made a chocolate silk pie. She's made it every holiday for the last couple of years, and this was probably by far one of the best pies that she has made. It has been a busy week, and with all the food prep and eating and cleaning and laughter, we totally forgot to take any videos. We did get one good picture of the eight of us together for the first time in quite some time. We hope you all had a wonderful Easter and have a blessed week.